let's test this MOSFETs as you can see here so basically there is many type of MOSFETs HP MOSFETs like this one 3P MOSFETs like this MOSFETs this is basically a power MOSFET and also this kind of MOSFET as you can see this is a 3 terminal MOSFET okay this is an ACMD MOSFET okay so I'm going to teach you how to test all this kind of MOSFETs okay so first to test MOSFET you should use the multimeter and choose the diode option as you can see here. the diode option and then press the power button so if you focus here for example for this first MOSFET here we have here a mark a white mark means this is the P number one okay P number two P number three so these three pins are search the fourth pin are gate and these four other pins are drain I will show you the MOSFET in the schematic in order to understand it clearly so here we have the MOSFET as you can see so do you see here the pin number one two and three these three pins are connected together here we have source and the fourth pin this is the gate here we have G means gate okay so this is the gate and five six seven eight this is the drain four pins connected together okay and do you see the diode so the diode is between source and drain that's why i we will use the multimeter and check between drain and source we should get a reading exactly like we test the diode so here as you can see the multimeter is in the diode option so let's now check between source and drain okay so as i told you before these three pins are for source if we check these three pins we will get a canteen as you can see the multimeter we get a buzzer and a low resistance this also do you see means these three pins are connected together but if i check between source and gate as you can see nothing in the multimeter okay and of course these four pins also are connected together this is drain so let's check so between this pin and this one we get a buzzer and a low resistance in the multimeter let's check with the third pin the same buzzer four pin as you can see buzzer means these four pins are connected together as we see in the schematic okay so let's test this MOSFET right now okay so but first we should discharge the MOSFET okay here we have the gate so let's connect between the gate and the source and even we can connect between the grain and the gate like this in order to, to discharge in order to discharge the MOSFET so let's see right now so the black probe here in the source and the red probe in the drain let's see here as you can see we get a low resistance okay so let's swap the props we get the same resistance so basically this MOSFET this is not a short MOSFET no but this circuit here is for the CPU so let's see the back of the motherboard as you can see here okay as you can see we have here the CPU as you can see we have four MOSFETs here and four in the back so the low resistance here is for the cpu if we remove the cpu we will get the right resistance okay so let's check again this mosfet also so here we have the source and here we have drain do you see low resistance so let's remove the cpu and see again so i will remove the cpu so let's check any mosfet here for example this one do you see no ready in the multimeter so if i swap the props do you see we get a 400 low voltage this is right so the mosfet is good but if i put back the cpu as you can see so let's close the cpu here we're gonna get also a low resistance in the multimeter 
So please pay attention for the MOSFETs around the CPU. Always you should pay attention for the MOSFETs around the CPU. If you want to check MOSFETs around the CPU, you should remove the CPU and then check it because when the CPU is connected, you will get a wrong values. Okay? So let's check these two MOSFETs for example. So these MOSFETs are in the charge circuit next to the power jack. As you can see, this is the power jack. So these two MOSFETs should give a right value. But the MOSFETs next to the CPU, you should always remove the CPU. So let's check these two MOSFETs. So of course, we should always locate the source. So here we have the first pin. We have this white mark means this is the first pin, the pin number one, pin number two, and pin number three. So this is the source and this is the drain. So let's check these MOSFETs using the multimeter. So of course, the multimeter is in the dial option. So I'm going to put one probe in the drain and two other probe here in the cells so nothing in the multimeter so if i swap the pros the props we should get a reading so let's see as you can see in the multimeter about 400 the voltage so if you get 400 500 700 all these values are good so this is a good mosfet so let's check this one also so between drain and source as you can see nothing in the multimeter so here as you can see we have this white mark here means this is the source here we have the source and here we have the drain so let's check this MOSFET also nothing in the multimeter so let's swap the props we get a reading the same reading in the multimeter means also this is a good MOSFET so here, as you can see, we have another type of MOSFET. This is basically a three terminal MOSFET where we have this point. As you can see here, this white dot means this is the source. Okay. This is the drain and this is the gate. So source, drain, gate. So this pin here is connected to this part here. So if we check using the multimeter between here to drain and this part here, as you can see, a low resistance. Okay, means this is drain and this is also drain. So, source, drain, gate. So, let's check between the source and drain. We should. So, let's test this MOSFET. So, between source and drain. So, we get about 100. Let's swap the props. Nothing in the multimeter. Okay, so let's check again. About 100. So the MOSFET is good. Basically, the reading is a little bit decreased, but the MOSFET is, is good. Once we don't have here the continuity like this, means the MOSFET is not shorted. Okay, we have here other MOSFETs, for example, let's check this one. So, between drain and source, nothing in the multimeter. Let's swap the props. We should get a read. As you can see in the multimeter, 480 drop voltage. So, here, as you can see, we have other two MOSFETs, as you can see over here. So, this is the first one, and this is the second one. Okay, so this is other two MOSFETs. So, here we have MOSFET. This is a three terminal MOSFET, the big one. Here we have eight terminal MOSFETs, and also this is a three terminal MOSFET, ACMT MOSFETs. So this white dot here means this is the source, source, drain, and gate. Okay, and for this one we have source, drain, and gate. So if we test between the source and the drain, we should get a reading. Okay, depending in the type of the MOSFET. If the MOSFET is N channel, means we should get a reading when we put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain. But if the MOSFET is P channel, we will get the reading when we put the red probe in the drain and the black probe in the source. Okay, so let's check this 
to MOSFETs using the multimeter and in the same time we are gonna identify whether the MOSFET is N channel or P channel. Of course, always we are gonna use the diode option as you can see. So let's check. So here for the first one, this is the source. This white dot means the source. So I will put the black probe here and the red probe here. So let's check. Nothing in the multimeter. So let's swap the probes. So this time the red probe here, okay, in the source. So the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain, as you can see. We get a ready in the multimeter, means this is a good MOSFET, and this is, of course, in channel MOSFET. Why? Because we put, we put the black, the red probe in the source here, okay, and the black probe in the drain. And we get a ready, means this is in channel MOSFET. So let's test this one also. So the red probe in the source, as you can see, and the black probe in the drain, let's see, we get also a reading. This is also in channel MOSFET. If I swap the probes, as you can see, I should get nothing in the multimeter. As you can see, nothing in the multimeter. Okay? So let's test again this one and identify whether this one is in channel or P channel MOSFET. So we have the dot here, white dot means this is the source. So let's put the red probe in the source and the black probe and the black probe in the drain. We get a reading. Okay? So the red probe here is in the source and the black probe is in the drain and we get a reading means this is in channel MOSFET. So let's test again this one and confirm whether this one is in channel MOSFET or P channel MOSFET. So here, as you can see, we have the white dot means this is the source. So let's put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain. We get a reading means also this also this is in channel MOSFET. I hope that we find a P channel MOSFET in order to know also about a P channel MOSFET to understand clearly. So here, as you can see, we have some MOSFETs. Okay. This circuit basically is for the RAM, okay? So let's check this MOSFET and look for whether we can find here a P-channel MOSFET or not. So let's look at first the source. We have this dot mark here, means this is the source and this is the drain. So let's put the red probe in the drain and the black probe in the source. So nothing in the multimeter. If I swap the probes, as you can see, I get a reading. So this is also in channel MOSFET because the red probe is in the source. Okay. So here, as you can see, we have other MOSFETs. Okay. This is basically here the ICH circuit. Let's check if we can find P channel or not. Here we have a white dot means this is over here the source and this is the drain. So let's check. Okay, the black probe in the source and the red and the red probe in the drain. Here we have short. Unfortunately, this MOSFET is shorted. So let's check this one also. No, this one no. This one is good, but this one is shorted as you can see. So this is a shorted MOSFET. This MOSFET is shorted. Let's check between the MOSFET and the ground, as you can see. Oh, so this side, the source is connected to the ground. And let's check the drain. The ground. We have a very low resistance, 002. Means this MOSFET is shorted. So let's check another motherboard. So I hope that I can find a P channel MOSFET. So for P channel MOSFET is the MOSFET where we put the red probe in the drain and the black probe in the source and we get a rhythm. Okay, this is a P channel MOSFET. So let's check this two MOSFET. 
these two MOSFETs, I hope that we find a PCR MOSFET. So first we should locate, as always, the source. So where is the source here? So here, as you can see, we have this hole here. Do you see this hole and this white mark over here? Means here, this is the source. These three terminals are source and this are drain. Okay. Okay, so this is the, we can even check using the multimeter, these four terminals should be connected together. As you can see, the, the first and the second, the third one, the fourth one. Okay, it means this is drain and this is so. So let's check this MOSFET. We hope that this is pre-charged MOSFET. Let's see. We get a radius. So this is a P-channel MOSFET. This is a P-channel MOSFET because we put the red probe in the drain and the black probe in the source. This one all also should should be the P-channel MOSFET. So here we have a hole over here. You see the hole here? means this is source and this is drain so let's check let's put the red probe in the drain as you can see and the black probe in the source we get a ready as you can see okay so this is pre was with if i swap the props as you can see nothing in the multimeter okay so this is as you can see here p charm mosfet so this is all about the mosfet so guys that's it for this video so thank you very much and please don't forget to subscribe if not already subscribed share the video for other people like you and please like the video because your likes motivate me to create more and more videos for you thank you very much and see you in the next video